The stones are weathered. The mortar grayed. The gridiron now stripes stone. Listen. Do you hear it? Stop. Do you feel it? This is the heart of the Redmen. facility was built, uh, basically the uh, stadium and, and the uh, wall surrounding the stadium was built during the Great Depression of the 1930s and was primarily built just by manual labor. There was very little, if any, mechanized equipment. So it was, it was constructed by uh, laborers using picks and shovels and wheelbarrows and they did a magnificent job. This area was really beautiful because the old stadium was such a historic thing. Uh, we watched so many great players play here and so many great friends. At the uh, south east side there was a, a, a small rock building where all of the athletes on scholarship had to sell pop, candy, and popcorn. And uh, when people were walking in the gate, which was on the south end, uh, they would come by and we would try to hit them up for a 25 cent uh, Coke and popcorn sale. Uh, I can just imagine what, uh, what the games were like and, uh, and what the, the sense of uh, uh, loyalty and camaraderie must have been during those games. The band would enter right here at this entrance and they would go all the way and we would follow them and cheer and be ready for the game. So that was really exciting. The band was always a big part. Some of the great athletes that we had here during those years was just amazing. This, this stadium was always full, always. We always had great tradition, uh, had very good strong competition come in here, and it was just a great meeting place for your friends, family, and it just seemed like everyone would turn out for a game here. I think this is um, the ideal location to have a, a monument and create a bridge between Redmond and, and, and the Riverhawk. The Redmond Wall will be about the students that attended Northeastern, not just the football teams, but all of the fans. We had great debate teams that came through here that supported the, the football program and vice versa. It's not a tribute just to athletics, but it's a tribute to anyone that had any association with the university from, from 1924 up until 2007. For, to me, they are all Redmond, and they're part of the, of the, of the history of the wall. And uh, thinking about uh, the Gable Field wall, uh, remembering uh, what happened on that field from 1936 uh, well into the 60s, listening to people who spent time there as a player or as a band member or as a student, uh, the Gable Field wall in so many ways reminds us of the history of this university in all of its forms and, and the great history of this institution as the home of the Redmen. The Redmen and the Riverhawk, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a marriage that was originally difficult, but now it's one that we are very proud of and one that we need to uh, reinforce. And uh, through this symbol uh, of this facility being transposed into that uh, is, uh, is, is a natural foundation to build on. Make us be a part of this institution. We want to be. We want to give. We want to support. We want to be a part of it our entire lives. I was talking about it this morning with some uh, fellow alumni Redmond and you know I just I just wept because it means so much it goes so deep and if you're a Redmond you understand what I'm saying. You want something that's there, it's history, you want something to dwell on when you get older. And this will be something for us to say, gosh, this is, this is our place. This is where the Redmond can go still.